Please welcome our panelists for today's Q&A. Stars Jemima Rupert, Max Irons, Tashan Williams, Alana Bowden, and executive producer Paul Skorota. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Thank you for being here today. Paul, our first question is for you. You both executive produced and co-wrote Flowers in the Attic, The Origin. We understand that you were in close contact with BC Andrews ghostwriter, Andrew Neiderman. Can you please tell us a little bit about that process? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, we started about four years ago when the project was brought to me. And um, I, of course, had read Flowers in the Attic, you know, maybe a long time ago. Uh, and I wasn't, at the time, even aware there was this prequel book. And when I found out it existed and that Andrew uh, wrote it, I was very excited. Um, so it's actually the first book that he wrote in the VC catalog, um, the first of, I think, over 100 now that he's written. Uh, so it's been this valuable resource to have him um, you know, on speed dial all the time. I would call him always, I still do, for any questions I might have if I'm ever unsure about a story point or something is tonally correct, or, you know, it, of the world, I can just check with him, and he has his finger on the pulse of all things VC. So it was, um, I was very lucky to have him be a part of the project. Good afternoon. This is Andrew Neiderman welcoming you to today's virtual premiere of Flowers in the Attic, The Origin, a four-part miniseries exclusively aired on the Lifetime channel. It was based, inspired by the best-selling prequel to Flowers in the Attic, Garden of Shadows. It was a worldwide best-selling novel for V.C. Andrews. V.C. Andrews was and continues to be one of the most influential Gothic novelists of the late 20s and early 21st century. There are 107 million copies of V.C. Andrews titles in the world. Every country that has a publisher has at least one title, which to me is an amazing feat. I think that her work is just appreciated more and more, and it's no surprise to me that it's becoming more and more adapted to movies and films and television. When the world tragically lost Virginia in 1986, it became my obligation and incredible honor to continue the V.C. Andrews world through additional titles, develop stories, and to build on her characters most importantly on her style of writing. Garden of Shadows, which is the inspiration for, for Flowers in the Attic, The Origin, was the first work that I did. It is more than just the origins. It will tell you secrets and explain mysteries that Flowers in the Attic and the sequels develop. It has been my incredible pleasure to be able to continue this and keep it going for almost 40 years at this point. So I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to watch part one of Flowers in the Attic, The Origin, and enjoy with me the development of the V.C. Andrews franchise. Thank you so much. They have come to seek refuge. Secrets are kept where the future is haunted by the past, where the innocent live in the shadow of sin, where a dark legacy awaits to destroy all who defy it. Next question is from Twanda Blake. Hi. Uh, my question is, what was it like filming inside of a, the pandemic? And did do you think that offered you more, I'd say it stretched you more to bring perfection to your characters? Yes, I think uh, in a way it did. It was this sort of quite surreal bubble. Um, I think for us all to be away from home for as long as we were, um, normally people, if you're filming, you know, outside of home, you're in and out or um, you're not really with each other. And it was such a shared experience, the whole thing on set and off set. And 
yeah, I think there was such a, a, a lovely feeling because you did, everyone felt really grateful and really privileged to be working. And it was also really interesting work. And everyone really looked out for each other, the, the Crino, all the way through the crew from the top to the bottom. Um, it, it felt very collaborative and very supportive. And I think it, that's quite rare to that extent. And, um, and that made it very special. Um, it wasn't just another job, I think. Some may have an idea of who I was. A wife, a mother, the grandmother, a monster. I only ask that before you judge me, listen to the full story that led me locking my grandchildren in an attic to suffer and knowing the truth. Judge me if you dare. I'm proud to present my daughter, Olivia Winfield. Olivia, my darling. Mr. Malcolm Foxworth. Welcome to our family. Malcolm, your stepmother, Alicia. Control. You don't truly appreciate it until it's gone. Mr. Foxworth enjoys beautiful things. Houses. Women. Be careful. This family operates under a very specific set of rules. Daddy. I make them. Something strange is going on up in that house. What kind of man have I married? What kind of monster? I know what is best for this family. Don't forget who they are. Everything that was mine, everything I worked for, everything I loved, had been taken from me. And that's when I knew what I had become. I see the way you look at her, not how a father should. Some things should be left as they are. You said you would take care of him. You're not so different after all. God may shine his light, but you may not see it if the devil looms overhead, <laughs> casting its shadow over you. The devil, or Foxworth Hall.